Robert here at Sonata. Today I'm just going to give a uh, quick overview on the elements inside uh, Zoho Campaign's um, email templates. So to start, let's go ahead and create an email template. We'll go over to library and choose email template. And go to the template editor and basic template. And we'll go ahead and choose a blank one. Create a campaign. Okay, so this over here, I'm going to kind of drag and drop everything over here. I'm also going to, if you look, uh, if you're on a YouTube channel, right below will be a link to Zoho's page that gives a description of all of these as uh, that I'm kind of discussing right now. Um, and then same with our website, there will be a link down there that links to Zo uh, Zoho's page. So let's go ahead and start. I like to think of these as building blocks. So when you're building your newsletter or whatever campaign email you want to send out, uh, these are essentially your building blocks. So um, this is all going to be pretty straightforward. Text, you can choose three different sizes. This is going to be your header one, header two, and paragraph. So if we drop that in here, as you can see, paragraph, heading one, heading two. Um, select it, change the font size, uh, the color of the font. Um, here you can change the background color of the box. And let's say I wanted to change the text color. If it'll let me, there we go. And we can see we went ahead and changed the colors around. Um, you can add bullets. So. There you have the text box and padding real quick. Uh, all of these are going to have this, um, but a, as we start building it, you know, you might want the padding to be smaller. As it, as we add different elements in for uh, looks. All right, next, uh, there are images uh, pretty straightforward here. You can drop it one, two, three, uh, just drag and drop, and let's go ahead and pick an image. So you can click the upload from a URL or to upload from your computer. Here I have this Zoho News um, pre-uploaded that I put in here. So we'll go, go ahead and use this image. And we'll title it Zoho News. Let's go ahead and insert it. So as you can see, it defaults to fit. Now this would be a banner. So we would want it to stretch all the way across the newsletter. Uh, you can also choose small, medium, or large, depending on what image size you want. Then you could center it or adjust it right or left here. Another quick little tip is if you want to move this, let's say we want this to the top, you just select these little arrows to the side to move them up and down. So once you click it, you hold it, and then drag and drop where you want your, uh, like I said, building blocks. Image and text, pretty straightforward, just a combination of the two we just put in. And you can always select it too, and drag left or right to change the size. If you want to put a button, say like a register here, um, you can do that by clicking on the button. They have the square, uh, the smooth edged, or kind of an oval. And then you could put the register link to whatever you wanted them to register right here. Next, columns. You could make a custom column here. Three is always going to be the limit. And you can drag and drop your content in there. So now I just drop the text in there. And let's say I want to throw a button in there. There's the button. And last, I will go ahead and throw in a video. So 
So as you can see, that would be the, the function of the custom columns to put multiple elements in a column. So spacer is exactly that. Let's say we want a little space here in between the two. Here you could stretch it, lower it, and then choose a background color. Divider is also going to be similar, except it's going to have a line, hence divider. Um, widgets come in handy if you have Facebook. So all of these, you simply click them to add them. And if you want, let's say we want Flickr a second, you simply just drag these dots to move them around in the order you want them and then type in the proper URLs to your sites there. And design, you can change the icons, style, color, positioning, um, and so on can all be done here. Next, we have dynamic. Uh, I'm not gonna get into dynamic types too much. Uh, these are gonna be your if-then statements. In a separate video, I'll go ahead and show you how dynamic types work. Uh, you can also create a poll. And you can choose, you know, out of five stars, 10. Then I left that checked back there, add a response for each range given. And you can add as many as you want for the different ranges to kind of, you know, get an idea and let them know you're interacting with them. Uh, next, we have the attachment element. Uh, what this is here is if you, let's say, you wanted to attach a PDF for them to download, uh, it would drop in essentially a button or image, um, and they could click on it and download that PDF. Uh, table. Go ahead and show you what a table looks like. So here, to edit the table properties, you can put as many rows or columns that you want. And you could add the content there and it just nicely organizes stuff for you. Next, box text. Uh, it's essentially that it's text within a box. So let's go ahead and drop some box. And as you can see here, we have a box and it's got text in it. So you can have a, a background color of your liking. Um, and then you can put another color around it as well as the background color. So like we can make this red. Uh, next, ICS, I um, this right here is for calendars. So let's say you wanted to drop some invite information to their calendar. Uh, that's what this would be for. And it would go ahead and sync it up with their calendar if they click there. A pretty cool and strong feature. And then lastly, my personal favorite is dropping in HTML. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how this one works real quick. Let's go ahead and drop it right here. And over here, I have a chunk from our website pulled up. So let's say I wanted to take this ch chunk of our newsletter and I'll go ahead and drop it right in. And it does all of the formatting for me, just like that. Okay, and that covers everything for elements. Um, you also have layouts. Uh, these are just predefined layouts you can choose from. Um, or a design, you could change the background color. Let's say we wanted to make it black or gray. Um, you could change the theme, make it look all crazy on the background. You can alter the color of the background, change the template width, and uh, 
border size and border color. So as you can see, lots of options here for your newsletter. Probably wouldn't want it looking like this at the end of the day, but you know now you can see kind of how all of these functions inside uh, Zoho campaigns works. Thanks you for watching.